Unlike our favourite comic book characters, the origin stories of silver screen superheroes often involve more steamed chicken breasts and stationary bikes than kryptonite and dead parents. But while the actors get paid to look the part, it's the stunt doubles who take the hits, the falls and the rubber bullets, all without any of the glory. Let's go behind the scenes to highlight some of these brave performers who toil in the shadows to bring the Earth's mightiest heroes to life. Ingrid Kleinig Harley Quinn. Ingrid Kleinig has been in the biz for a while and definitely knows the ropes. She's done stunt work on movies as diverse as Superman Returns, Australia, and Iron Sky, but Kleinig really broke into the big time as Evangeline Lilly's stunt double in The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Still, if she's had one defining part, it's her work as Margot Robbie's stunt double on Suicide Squad. She and Robbie, who's a dancer herself, became friends while tag-teaming the stunts for Harley Quinn. They even held a long-running contest to see who could hold their breath the longest underwater. In the end, they both topped five minutes. That's the kind of skill that comes in handy when your job involves crashing face first through a Lamborghini windshield in a water tank. Will Erickson, Deadpool. Over roughly a decade, Will Erickson has built up a huge Hollywood stunt resume, appearing in everything from Tron Legacy to Wayward Pines. In 2016, Erickson scored big when he landed the part of Ryan Reynolds' stunt double during the filming of Deadpool. Along with a team of other stuntmen, Erickson helped bring our favorite regenerating degenerate to the big screen. In particular, Erickson was instrumental in the SUV scene at the start of the movie, and for that, Erickson you have a heartfelt thanks. Richard Bradshaw, Wolverine. Richard Bradshaw's prolific stunt career spans nearly three decades of work on television and the big screen. You've seen his work in movies like The Fifth Element, Titanic, and Tomorrow Never Dies, and he's also been involved in the production of Game of Thrones, serving as both a performer and the show's assistant stunt coordinator for more than two dozen episodes. In the X-Men franchise, Bradshaw worked as a performer and stunt double for Hugh Jackman in X-Men 2, The Last Stand, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and Days of Future Past. William Spencer, Spider-Man. William Spencer earned the name The Skate Ninja on YouTube for his unusual skateboarding style, but he probably never thought his board would give him a career in the movies. The amazing Spider-Man director Mark Webb had other ideas. For his first outing with the Webhead, Webb wanted to do something completely different, and that involved this. I don't know which way I'm going. Spencer, who'd spent a few years picking up spare paychecks doing light stunt work on movies like Jonah Hex and Project X, didn't even make it to his Spider-Man audition. Ultimately, the filmmakers couldn't find what they were looking for and looped back around to Spencer, who ended up as Andrew Garfield's double for both Amazing Spider-Man movies. Tony McFarr, Star-Lord Tony McFarg got started as a stunt performer in 2011, and since then he's built up an impressive stunt resume, appearing in dozens of television series and films. With his role in 2015's Jurassic World, it seems McFarg found his niche as Chris Pratt's stunt double. He went on to double for Pratt in 2016's Passengers, and again the following year in Guardians of the Galaxy's Volume 2, a role he prepared for by playing with toy guns. Nice. Bobby Holland Hanton, Thor. Bobby Holland Hanton is one of the most in-demand stuntmen in Hollywood. He's doubled for Chris Evans' Captain America, Christian Bale in The Dark Knight Rises, and Ryan Reynolds in The Green Lantern, to name a few. But if there's one gig he's especially proud of, it's getting to bring the thunder as Thor across the MCU. From the costumes to the kick-ass stunt work, Hanton loves everything about this gig, especially star Chris Hemsworth, whom he describes to Business Insider as a legend, saying... Chris is in the best shape of any actor I've seen. He's got huge arms and great coordination. I've never had to train so much in my life. Three hours each session, twice a day, six days a week. If Chris wasn't an actor, he'd be one of the top stuntmen around. But even after all the high wire stunts he's performed in an Asgardian breastplate, Hanton's favorite stunt is the prison scene in The Dark Knight Rises. He said, I had to climb out of the prison he's in and jump, miss the landing, fall a hundred feet and slam into the opposite wall. It was one of my first ever high falls, a hundred footer, which is quite a nice feat to achieve for a stunt performer. Sam Hargrave, 
Captain America. Although Bobby Holland Hanton has done some stunts as Captain America, it's Sam Hargrave who takes the brunt of the Star Spangled beatings. When he isn't acting as the man behind Cap's mask, he's also serving as Marvel's resident stunt coordinator and choreographer, designing some of the most memorable blowouts from Captain America The Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. Chances are, if one of Marvel's superheroes takes a knuckle to the face, Hargrave is responsible for it on some level. Clay Fontenot, Iron Man We've come a long way from the chest shavings and paint on latex Robert Downey Jr. had to endure for the first Iron Man. John, don't Johnny, Johnny, Faster! Faster! Between CGI and stuntmen, Robert Downey Jr. barely ever has a reason to put on the Iron Man suit anymore, which leaves Clay Fontenot as the only guy who still has to suit up when the cameras are rolling. Fontenot doubled for Downey Jr. in Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and The Avengers, and he's done stunt work on nearly 80 other films as well, including Django Unchained, Guardians of the Galaxy, and all three Blade movies. Fontenot is easily one of the most prolific stuntmen in the business. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.